Hello everyone, we have our news for the week, so let's take a look. Maintenance, normal time as usual. Uh, I didn't see anything ending with maintenance this time. And starting this week is Legend of Mana Collab. So we're getting two new Neovision units. So we get the normal login for them, 30 shards each. Nothing uh, special there. No premium unit, so shards are in the shop for both of them. We are getting a rerun of the Pearl El Zul banner. And they are right up there, so their shards are in the shop. But their tickets to pity also include the older units if you wanted one of those as well. And then they're doing the same thing we got like uh, last collab. Essentially, there's going to be a free collab only NeoVision ticket from uh, the event. There's also a bundle where you can buy one. So I forget how much this bundle was the last time. But you get one guaranteed collab NeoVision. You get a ticket to uh, select fragments and then you get a 10 plus one ticket. And the uh, banner itself, it's all the old units, it looks like. Not, so the two new units are not included in this pool. And it's the same for the uh, fragments. And we have some ability updates. So I took a look, and these are not exactly what JP has. So I'm really interested to see on what we actually end up with. Also... Hoping that Pearl doesn't quite get the uh, Knight's treatment with her limit upgrade. So first of all, El Azul. So he gets a new uh, ability. Technically a Magnus and then you upgrade it to be just a cooldown. I'm hoping this is a 150 boost because we already have the global upgrade of giving him a 100% boost. But uh, I mean it's a cooldown with one use every four turns so we'll see. But definitely not listed the same way that it was in GP, so. But we get the attack boost, limit boost, uh, boost and limit damage, and then wind boost. So we'll see exactly what those numbers are. Especially because on JP, he got two different abilities boosted. We're only getting one. And the other ability he got boosted had a flat 2000 attack, and I don't see anything listed for him getting flat attack. So we'll see just how all that is. He does get some new abilities. And slight boosts here and there. And then for Pearl, same kind of deal. Although she is getting both of her abilities, her flat attack uh, boost isn't listed here either. And again, they, they have the new Magnus that gets upgraded to just the cooldown one use every four turns. Hers is the same. Boost attack, limit damage, dark damage. So she doesn't get an LB modifier for hers, but it also does fill limit. So again, her global upgrade does already have 100% dark boost. So we'll see if this is 100% like JP or if they boosted it to 150 or not. And then she gets a new ability with a bunch of killers on it, which will really help because we got a global boost of 50% all killers for her already. So this is fully maxed out. 100% to all killers and change limit effects. So the change limit effects, I'm hoping isn't the Knight's treatment because the fully stacked JP limit burst is only 30 modifier above what we currently have. And we only have to stack once where uh, the JP version, we have to stack twice. And considering she is a not a true brave shift and she gets four turns in the shift and then has to wait two turns to go back after this update, Really hoping we only have to stack once still. But again, the JP version had flat attack on that ability, and there's none listed here. So we'll have to see. She does get some extra chaining stuff and everything there. Some upgrades. They are upgrading her hammer to give her flat attack, which is nice. And then we have Hawkeye. So this, uh, he gets a very nice free break. Essentially, just auto cast three turns after the start of the fight. And it's going to be... Well, he'll get an ability boost from himself as well. But a free break of 85% attack, magic, and spirit, and 89 defense, 160 dark and peril, and 160 demon killer for the entire party. 
just for doing nothing except for beating on the team, which is actually kind of nice. And then his shifted break, they remembered that they gave him a global boost, so it stays at a 90 defense break, which is nice. And then it's 85 attack and magic and 88 spirit break. I think it also boosts its own damage if you use it again. So he becomes a decent breaker. They don't really boost his damage from what I can see, but I mean, that's some pretty decent dark breaking right there. He gets some new abilities. His regular limit burst, I think the only change was to put the dagger and curl at the front and then boost his uh, abilities and his kit a little bit. So some nice boosts here. Definitely interested to see on exactly what we get on the global side as the units already had global boosts and obviously these abilities are not the exact same as what JP has listed. And they never put percentages in any of these news. So all the uh, mana units are getting leader skills. Pretty much all the old units get 100% attack and magic for mana. Uh, series units and eh, pretty standard. If you don't have anything better, it's better than nothing. And we're getting new vision cards. So both new units share the same vision card. And it's a pretty standard uh, series card overall. Uh, 130 attack and magic, 50% attack and magic, 25 limit damage, and for mana only units, 500 attack and magic, so great for mana units. And that's pretty much all you're probably going to use that on. And we are also getting a limited vision card. So there's a special step up as part of that. 135 attack, 100% attack, 500 flat attack, 20% evasion, which is interesting. And then we get our wind boost. And this one is self only again. So only the water one said that you can cast on anybody. And then 75% uh, plant and insect killer. And the nice thing is none of these abilities are locked to Brave Exvius only, which has been a pretty standard feature of all the limited cards. So that's actually kind of nice. Nice to have a wind boost card finally. Would have been nicer if it was an attack and magic card and we could use it on pretty much anybody. But still looks pretty decent. And we're getting a special uh, equipment event for mana units. The standard go through, get all the stuff, and craft the maxed out version, which they show here. 67 attack and magic, 13 defense, 33 spirits. Mana only units, 500 flat attack and magic, and then 50% uh, uh, Esper stats. Which is really nice for all mana units. Then we have all the Master Crown challenges, so we'll get Silver Crowns for everybody, which is super nice. So there's one for the three units, standard fare there. And none of them say that they're locked to a certain series or anything like that, which is extra nice. Especially because this is limited units and all that. And for the main event, it's just a box summon. So go through, farm the stuff, summon from the box. We'll be able to get one of the old Neo Visions for free, at least. I think the last time they did give us two tickets, but I'm not 100% sure on that. They only mention one ticket for sure, so we'll have to see if there's more than one. But uh, nothing too special overall outside the ticket that they outline in the news here for the event. And then we do have the two uh, units, uh, banners. So the two uh, last units get their own banner with their rate up and everything. And then their tickets can summon the... Uh, the even older units if you want to pity them instead so aside from the ability boost nothing really there just that pearl's hammer does get the 500 flat attack on it which is nice i think that's the only change there for her and then the main featured bandit so we're getting shiloh and Serfina. 
So the usual card step up and then run through twice. They're both right up on the same banner, which is helpful. Only need 10 uh, tickets to pity either of them. So both are super limit burst units. So Shiloh, physical attacker. Super, two-handed sword, 223 attack, 158 magic. He'll get 500 flat attack. And then everybody else can get 50% attack, defense, magic, spirit. Uh, regular trust is a hat, 63 attack, 18 defense, 36 magic, 24 spirit. And looks like just him will get uh, 50 plant killer. Uh, leader skill, 500 attack and magic, 200 defense and spirit for manic series only. And then Seraphina, mage, also super limit burst. So super is a two-handed spear, 152 attack, 223 magic. She'll get 500 flat magic. Uh, everybody else can get the 50% attack defense magic spirit. Regular trust is clothing. 37 attack, 13 defense, 62 magic, 32 spirit. And for just her, 50% plant killer. I'm not sure why. They're... Unless that's just the ability name. But she gets the same uh, leader skill. So mana only series, which is a little limiting because they're all kind of different elements as far as team building goes. But we can take a look at their JP side as they're not listing any global changes that I can see in the news here. So that might just be the skill names on the killers, which is fine. So Shiloh up first. So he's fire user. 150 Fire Magnus is definitely helpful. The standard fill limit gauge. Uh, mitigate damage, 99% for one turn. That's general mitigation. That could be super handy at times, especially like on the current Dark Visions. On-demand field for the party only, 35 Fire Boost, which is really nice, actually, especially because it's just on-demand whenever you want. Let's see, cool down. Standard 30% fire boost, 250 attack, 200 limit damage, and 100x modifier to his limit for three turns. That's rather nice as well. See, he's got uh, mirror moves for both wind and light, 120 in peril, 120 damage, nothing special there actually. Non elemental bolting, 150, nothing too special there. Then he's got his fire uh, mirror. So 130 fire down and 250. So you fill limit, general air. Cure all status after battle, that's that's fine for explore maps. Uh, but overall, you don't use that for trials that much. See, so we get beast, demon, stone, insect, plant, fairy killer, 200%. So a decent amount of killers. So he mainly wants to use a sword, but he does have passives for like every weapon. Double hand attacker, 100 chain cap there. Uh, 1750 flat attack for using super or trust, which is really nice. See auto attack boost, nothing special there. As far as limit, regular limit, 35 sword down, 80 defense break, 130 fire and 200 X modifier. Single hit, so honestly, nothing special there. And then for the super, 40 sword down, 80 defense, 130 fire, and 330 fire uh, modifier. Not bad there. And he doesn't have it built into his kit, so we can put Titus's garb on him and boost in another 100, and then with the cooldown, so he can go up to 530 modifier, it looks like. So decently strong, plus he has the field and everything and the 150 fire boost. So it looks like a decent finisher. And then there's Serafina. So she is mainly light focused. She's got the 150 light Magnus. 
See, we got wind chaos wave 120 with 120 down. So you get the same for a bolting move and then a fire version of that. She's got chaos wave light with 250 and 130 down. 130 in peril is not bad. Bolting 150 and 120 for the light. Both quad and triple cast. She does have a store magic. So using that would take two turns, but she does have the cooldown, which is nice. So 30 light, 250 magic. She gets 160 modifier for her limit and 300% store. So she's got some percentage heals. Might be handy here and there. On-demand light field is super nice, though. 35% ally only. Uh, mitigate damage for 99 for one turn is also could be useful in certain situations. She's got raise, which is interesting for a damage dealer. And just the fire chaos wave. See so main stat boost from using a spear, killers, fairy plant, insect, stone, demon, beast, all 200. So decent there. She's got the 100 chain cap, some passive double hand magic. 100% uh, Esper stats in the kit. Same thing as uh, Shiloh with the bonus for any weapon. Only 750 on her flat magic, probably because of the store magic. Auto, nothing too special there. And let's see, for a limit burst, we get 30 spear down, 80 spirit down, 130 light in peril, and 200x modifier, light magic damage. So not imbuable, light locked only. And bolting frames. And then the super version, 35 spear down, 80 spirit, 130 light, and 330 modifier. And then she adds 160, so that would be 490 total modifier. So it looks fairly decent as a light damage dealer. And that is pretty much all we have. So this collab I've been waiting for. So I'm definitely pulling, hoping to pull at least one so I can pity the other. I definitely want both units. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, everybody that does decide to pull, good luck to you. We're going to end this video here. Hope everybody enjoyed.